Welcome to the Ladies European Tour and the Open de España Madrid 2020 Comunidad de Madrid. The Spanish capital is one of the most popular stops on tour and has one of the best golf courses in the country. The black course at the Club de Campo Villa de Madrid is hilly, tight and lined with trees. Among those participating were Carlotta Seganda. She went into the tournament with her playoff win in Munich last month, still fresh in the mind. Leanne Pace has been back to her best this season. She won in Turkey and came close last time out in Slovakia. Stacey Keating won this tournament last year when it was hosted in Tenerife, one of two victories last season. After taking some time off, she's refreshed and ready to go. Leanne Pace of South Africa was immediately into her stride. She made five birdies, including this one on 17, in her opening round of 67. Tanya Elosegui has featured in the top five of this tournament no less than three times and went one better than Pace with six birdies. But it was Cheyenne Woods who dominated the opening day. While Uncle Tiger set out to tame Muirfield at the Open in Scotland, she took the black course apart. This birdie on the 17th was one of nine in her opening round. Woods kept her cool in the heat of a Spanish summer and played some of the best golf of her fledgling professional career. So Woods led the way after a blistering opening round 64, but Elosegui Pace and Celine Urbana France were all within sight of the leader. Frances Urbain is long off the tee and accurate from the fairway. Her coach and caddy here in Madrid was Seve's brother, Vicente Ballesteros. She repeated her first round four under par 68. Although her run of 32 holes without a bogey ended on the 15th, she responded immediately with a birdie on the very next hole. Pace is playing with confidence after her win in Turkey earlier this season. Her smooth swing is complemented by her excellent short game and both were in full working order in Madrid. She made four birdies on her way to a three under par 69. There was nothing to separate Pace and Urbain after two rounds. Zha Yun Li and Swedish rookie Isabella Ramsey led the chasing pack. Joanna Clatton of France has been struggling with tendonitis in her right arm, but she still managed to play some lovely golf. This shot from a hanging lie on 15 helped her equal her best round of the season, a 67. Michaela Palmlid of Sweden was also going well. She's had a couple of top five finishes this season. She started with four consecutive birdies. This was her sixth birdie in a sparkling round of 66. Joint overnight leader Pace began her third round with an eagle opportunity. She had to settle for birdie, but she was up and running. She made three more birdies on the front nine and then on the back nine played par golf for a four under 68. Hard work with the putter has been key to Selena Urban's excellent form and this one from off the green went the way of more than a few others. Straight into the cup. On 14 she sank another long one to go 13 under but a bogey on 17 meant her third consecutive round of 68. Just as after the second round, Pace and Urban were neck and neck. Palmlid 66 put her right in the mix and Clatton was also well placed. Leanne Pace has won six times on the LET and she went into the final round as the favourite. She began with a birdie on the par five to go 13 under. Michaela Palmlid was also in the last group and she too began her final round with a birdie. She moved to 11 under par. Joanna Clatton was two over for her round after bogeys on the second and third, but she got back on track with this birdie on the fourth. On reaching the ninth, joint overnight leader Urbain was level for her round. Unlike the previous three days, she was finding it difficult to get anything going, but there was nothing wrong with her bunker play. Birdies on holes five, six and seven had put pace in complete control, but she missed this par putt on the ninth to leave the door ever so slightly ajar.
Carlotta Seganda was another who was never really in contention, but this long birdie putt on the 11th gave her fans, of which there were many, something to cheer about. Seganda, six under par. After a bogey on 12, Pace's lead was cut to two shots, but her smooth tempo remained the same as she set up another birdie opportunity on 15. Harmlid, who had birded the 12th, missed the fairway with her tee shot, but produced this exquisite approach shot on the 15th to maintain the pressure on pace. The South African, though, remained unfazed and stroked home the birdie putt. Even though it wiped its feet on the way in. Palmlid had a much more straightforward birdie opportunity and took it to stay two shots behind the leader with three to play. But on 16, Palmlid made bogey to pace his par and the lead was three. Pace, though, pulled a tee shot on the par three 17th and the ball came to rest in an awkward lie in the bunker. Pace was fortunate that the ball hit a spectator as it could have gone anywhere. Again, the lie was unhelpful and with her third shot, Pace left it well short of the hole. Palmlid had also missed the green with her tee shot on 17, but her chip left this putt for par. Pace missed her bogey putt and her lead was cut to one stroke, heading to the 18th. While Pace had found the 18th green with her approach, Palmlid missed and needed this chip to go in to have any hope of forcing a playoff. It meant Pace had the luxury of two putts for the title. Her birdie attempt was close, but it ended up near the hole. Palmlid duly hold her par putt and claimed second place, equaling her best result on tour. <laughs> the way was clear for Pace to putt out and claim her second title of the season and her seventh overall. She'd survived a couple of wobbles, most notably on 17, and her caddy and friends were quick to join in the celebrations. Leanne Pace, the winner of the Open de España Madrid 2020 Comunidad de Madrid, by one stroke from Michaela Palmlid. Joanna Clatton was third, her best result on tour, as was Selena Burns fourth. Marta Silva Zamora and Carlotta Seganda were the leading Spaniards, and Sweden's Viva Schlesberg recorded her best ever LET result. Well, I started really well, obviously, on the front nine. Um, and then nine, I just lost a little bit of concentration, three putt at that. But I was still well, well ahead and quite calm. Um, and then ten, wayward drive, but I made a good putt, good recovery, nearly buried um, number 11. And then, then another wayward shot on, uh, on 12. But then I came in quite nicely, made some good shots, and only 17 was a... <laughs> I went straight at the pin. I probably should have gone a little bit right of the pin with a small draw, so... Mental error um, cost me two shots, but I'm really happy I won. After her victory, Pace leapfrogs Nasera into top spot at the 2013 ISPS Handa Order of Merit. Carlotta Seganda moves up one place to third. Joanna Clatton is one of the big movers. Her strong week in Madrid moves her from 44th to 13th. The compensation for Selena Ban's disappointing final round is a climb of 44 places from 68th to 24th. Top four win automatic selection for the Solheim Cup. There are just two more events to play before the team is announced. Despite only just making the top 40 in Madrid, English teenager Charlie Hull still tops the 2013 Rolex Rookie of the Year. In B Park, one of five Koreans in the top 10 continues to lead the way in the Rolex world ranking. The next stop on the LET is England and the European Masters at the Buckinghamshire. As ever, you can follow all the action online at ladieseuropeantour.com. For now, though, it's good luck. <laughs>